to YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Uga RV. That sounds for us, Basimra. I'm being an Afrobeat dancer. I'm hoping to bring a fresh and valuable viewpoint to this reaction. Of course, I'll mainly focus on what element of the performance resonates with me as an Afrobeat dancer, such as rhythm, movements, and cultural aspects. This will also be an opportunity to learn about and appreciate different styles of dancing or of dancers. So let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, I'm checking out a girl go for the first time on my channel in this uh, play in this like playlist of Afrobeat dance area. The first girl group I'm ever checking out, and of course it's New Jeans. It was uh the vote the second highest voted, of course. So I'm checking it out now. Um, I'm doing Super Shy first because it's their recent release and they have a dance practice for it. I know the chorus because it was trending a lot on TikTok, obviously. Does I even did the dance? People asked Steven for the dance tutorial. I actually have a dance tutorial for Super Shy, the TikTok version, of course, on my channel. That being said, I'm not going to be wasting any more of your time. I've no, I've not really checked out their music video or anything like that. So apart from that, super shy, super shy, and then the the chorus. I know how the other dances are of the, the verses. So I'm going in blind. But and then I'm looking at this as an Afrobeat dancer from the perspective of an Afrobeat dancer. So without further without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Oh, they had backup dancers as well in this dance practice, okay? It's not only them. They're cool. I don't know who is who. I'm sorry. I know there's Danielle. Immediately, I'm going to, of course, it starts with the chorus, but I'm super shy, super shy. But, I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's a different version, and right now I'm seeing more of the angles. Ta 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 ta. It's not me. It's not really my fault if having uh, angles mainly with arms. I'm good in leg work. Arms not my fault. It gives me some hectic time. But another thing I do is like using numbers, using group to make a simple move look good. Even though it's not a simple move. Hard, simple, whatever. If you're able to synchronize it and not like hands here, hands here, it will just look so good and it will give you that big sense of satisfaction just to look like, look at. So, of course, you have more of like the printer midlines here, here. You have, I think, when they're doing like, when they're teaching K pop or like dance, um, what's that thing called? Basics, they teach you to go like that, having different angles, having new angles, right? So, this kind of reminds me of that. So some of us who never got basic training, I think, and me being an alphabet dance, I think to have a hard time for me to make those straight lines, I'll be a bit off. But I should actually try and learn some basic. Because of course, alphabet dance, we don't really need lines like that. We just groove, groove, groove. Okay, let's continue. Let's just move on. I see some shaking. I wish I could see the angle from above to know what they're making, but I'm liking that they're in groups of threes. Okay. What's that thing called? Is that tatting? Not tatting. Is that tatting? Right? No, 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 that's not, not tatting. What's that thing? Vogging? Is it called vogging? I'm not good. I'm just trying to learn other different types of dance apart from Afrobeat dance that I'm a piano. But of course, the, the common ones, you know, salsa or hip hop or something. But that, I don't know what's that thing called. Vogging? I think it's vogging. I'm liking that they're incorporating a lot from the basic, uh, uh kind of like expanded on the basics with the shapes and movements or whatever. And then you have a single part of vogging. I think it's called vogging. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I don't know, uh, different. Why did not it go voguing? Ah, I'm going to be bothered about not knowing what it's called, but let's just move on. I just like that. And then also they have the breathing, the breathers, because not everyone is dancing at the same time. I have people stand somewhere, pause, wait for their turn. So it gives opportunity for someone to relax a bit, catch their breath before they come back again. I I, I was already, I used to be so biased about the girl dancers because some of them I'll see, 
I look at them like, ah, it's too soft, it's too hard, but oh, what I'm seeing so far is not that soft. Mm, I like my business is out the window. Maybe it's particular songs or particular girl groups that maybe take up a certain concept and it's just about the softness of everything else. Yeah, anyway, let's continue. Yeah, there's an aspect of voguing. Ah, that's the one I know. I like that. I don't want to call it a ripple, but I like that. But something that's totally different from an Afrobeat dance choreographer or something is like it's how they're using their hands a lot it should switch probably be using our legs more and less of our hands our hands would be like an accompaniment but to them it's more like the legs are accompanying them but the main focus is the arm movements and they are a lot and they are much <sighs> my worst nightmare I don't like a lot of hand gestures like when I'm learning how to dance because it's hard for me it would take me a longer time to learn than it would if like it was a balance or like it was really lower body focused so yeah when i did that super shy thing i my hands hurt when i did that dance tutorial and the dance as well when i was doing the tiktok thing i'm just have my upper body is work it's not strong at all but I, I, it's a good dance i'm just saying like in terms of heart of, of learning for an alphabet dancer like me it will take a longer time for me to learn, probably more than it would take a, a song that contains complicated leg leg work. This has complicated arm, work. and then you have to have lines, and their hands are going straight. I even had my hand to be straight. Look, I broke my hand when I was a kid. It can't even be straight. So I have to find it to be straight. In a, I, it can't be in a straight line. It's just crooked. Make you mine. Make you mine. Uh, uh, angles. Oh goodness, I feel so bad at it. My dress trainer will be telling you, Ross, what is Ross doing, Ross? I'll be the problem. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, I like that. Yeah, use your group well. I do like that a lot. I think the one in the middle is Daniela or Daniela. I've seen her. Is she the one who sang um, Part of the World for The Little Mermaid? And also redid this Rainy Days uh, cover. That's why her face is familiar to me. I think, apart from all the rest, Daniela is the one I could get because I've seen her so much. I watched Little Mermaid, I like Chloe. And then she went and did a cover. I watched it too. Beautiful voice, beautiful face, beautiful girl. And also, V, during his weavers, he checked it out, reacted to her singing to his rainy days. So she's a familiar. I've not really gone deep to check out uh, New Jeans as it is, but I think I know her. And is she the one who's Aussie? One of the people who's Aussie, like she has an Australian accent when she speaks English, if I'm not mistaken. Those are a few places I've known her from. I don't know how old she is or what position she is in the group. Probably a vocalist. Maybe visual, I don't know. But it seems like she was sent a lot as well. But you tell me more. I want to learn. Tell me names. What's that? I want to know more about them. Or you can tell me I can check them out and I watch it in private. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Inuga Rose. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.